How are you guys doing? You know me, this is Mark Morris. I live in California. Send me a thousand dollars to PO Box 540, San Bernardino, California 92402. Today, breakfast from the summit is on location today. First thing I would like to know you, or probably you know me 52, 17 years worth of retirement. That I would be making twenty to thirty thousand dollars of passive income a year that was destroyed by COVID, reduced to two to three thousand dollars. How many of you retired? Thought you were gonna be, hey man, I got a hundred, two thousand dollars cash coming in, and then what happens? COVID hit. So send me, let me know how many of you guys got impacted by that. How many of you guys are students? You got, oh man, I'm, I'm great. I'm going to Duke. Uh, you going, you going, you going to Duke of the Golden Gate University, doing it online. Subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. So that's why I started the Undercover Billionaire Study Group. We had a six dollar, six dollars, sixty dollars, six hundred, six thousand dollar options for you just to help you grow your business. If you just think if you could use the skills that someone used to become a millionaire, you think that could help you? And they're doing it in 30 days. That's why we have the Undercover Billionaire Study Group. And that's why part of it is I give you the closes by Grant Cardone because he's a billionaire. But what I like about him, because I've worked in sales for 25 years, started back in 1995 when I got laid off from my first job. Then since then, I've been in and out of sales. I've worked at Costco, sold toys door to door, calling for right now. I'm calling expired listing for a real estate agent. But you have to learn about sales. It's all about, it's almost like psychological warfare. You just have to learn how to just learn how to deal with people. And the reason it's gotten so much harder because people ain't getting no money. And then they think the salesman's fault. I, I didn't tell you to buy the Mercedes. I didn't tell you to buy the Lexus, but it's my fault. It's my fault when you come in my to my place and I want to help you get a real tire to put a, instead of that donut on your tire. So that's why I developed the Undercover Billionaire Study Group. Hey, take responsibility for yourself. I mean, do you want, how many more stimulus checks do you think you can get? Plus, it's only six hundred dollars. I can see it for sixty thousand dollars. I mean, maybe, but six hundred? What? Enough to get a gun and go cycle? That's why we developed. And then I also, for some of you guys who don't like the undercover billionaire study group, hey man, I just help you pay off your car loan. I'm um, like for today is I call breakfast from the summit. And today our breakfast from the summit is we're in front of the 24-hour studio, 24-hour fitness, not too far from my apartment complex. I like coming here because I like to see all the fancy cars in, in Redlands, California. Why, why go, why go to Beverly Hills, man? I, I just come to, or better yet, I go to the hood housing in San Bernardino. Look at all the hoop. Look at the all the luxury cars. Look at the projects where they're selling dope down the street. So I like to come here, work out, need to work out, get focused. And then after that, I got to get back on the phone. <laughs> Hi, my name's Martin. Calling about this expired listing. Hello, it's Martin. I'm calling. The reason I'm calling, I'm calling about this expired listing for, hello, my name's Martin. Calling about your expired listing. So thank you. Help me. Hey, I'm calling about your expired listing. Seeing if you want to register with someone new or has the property been sold. And then get the conversation going. And that's what I got to work on today. So sales is more preparation now, but you got to learn how to close, especially if you have a restaurant, cafe, tire place, auto. The reason I want you to stay, give you the Grant Cardone Survival Guide, I'm selling a book for $50, is I want you guys to learn how to just stay in the conversation. Don't let people intimidate you. I'm still learning. I video, I video tape myself for about an hour, and I saw some of my mistakes, kind of hesitant, worried about someone cussing me out. It's like, they're going to cut you out your class. And that doesn't matter. Are you going to do business with me, man? So let me get this to you. So for breakfast from the summit, also I have another one for you guys. Do you think it's smart to cook naked? I was, I was like cooking today. I cooked some, I got this great, this deep fire pan. So I cooked the bacon. I buy that thick Oscar Mayer bacon. And then I do cook three eggs. But today I said, like, you know what? I'm just going to cook naked, man. I'm going to just, just kind of uh, say this, you know, I got hit by oil a couple of times, but then... I got through it. So that's just something that was just passing my mind. Does anyone else cook naked? I just want to know. I ever do. I never. I think I just do it because you want to find out if the oil or something's gonna pop you. I mostly do it when I'm frying something. Never when I'm baking. So don't have to bring that up. But let's get to the Grand Cardone clothes. Page two twenty. Future date. Since I'm unable to get you to do this today, can I at least get a commitment and agreement from you that you will do this with me at some time in the future? Just. 
this is when Grant, I guess Grant says when you're unable to come to a deal now, which sometimes you got to do that follow up. Say, okay, hey, we can't do this right now. How about if we do this 30 days from now? But make sure you try to do your best to get a specific date. I used to do this when I worked at uh, Golden Tiger Martial Arts when we set up people to for memberships or set up people for introductory lessons. You try to get at least 10, 20, 15 dollar deposit out of them and out of a $50 thing. Okay, you know what we'll do? Hey, why don't we put a dot like a layaway? Hey, put down $10 now. And then when you start your course in two to three weeks, you can put the remaining money down. So your goal is to try to lock them into that future date. And if you could just get just a portion of the money, I mean, I've worked, I've done this. I worked at Costco Home Decorating. I sold two one hundred and fifty dollar rugs, and after selling the two hundred and fifty dollar rugs, I turn around. Hey, let's set an appointment and have someone come do some actual custom home designs. Check your house. You like coming to buy you. You buying your biscuits and your chilies and your ten pounds worth of toilet paper. Hell, why don't you get your fucking house decorated here too? Fuck it, do it all, man. Do it all, dog. Do it all, dog. So that's why I say do it all, dog. So I used to sign up people for the Costco home decorating appointment. So make, you got to do that. So what else did I do? I used to also use this when I worked at, um, used to work at Togo's. Sometimes you can lock people into certain things. Oh, when I worked at, I used to sell toys. You used to sell $200, $300 worth of toys. So, oh, okay, you know what? Hey, why don't you just buy, buy these certain amount of toys now and come back later? You want to make a sale. Most important thing I'm trying to teach you when I really pound you on the weekend is that you got to make a sale. You've got to get some cash flow coming in, man. I don't care how, how, how good a person looks, how fancy that car is. I don't give a shit. If they don't, you don't have any cash flow, you are fucked. You can only live off credit so long. You need some money in. You need cash flow to pay the credit debt. That's why I be hammering you guys on the weekend. The spouse clothes. Would, it, would two to three days be be good enough or would two to three weeks better? The truth of the matter is you'll still thinking about, be thinking about the same, same three things. May I share them with you? Does this product get you what you want? Can you afford it? Am I the kind of person you want to do business with? If yes to all three, less roles. That's why I also hit you guys at the spouse clothes. Hey, if you speak to your spouse as much as me and mine do, they know you're here and what you're doing. If your condition would change just a little bit, what would your your partner or spouse be opposed to? Let's get here and here. Your goal is just to push for the day. Pressure. If they say, uh, and I got this one, I have to get someone to move a sign off some property. Martin, are you pressuring me? You keep calling me. Yes, sir, I am pressuring you. Just don't lie to me. I'm pressuring you, man. If you prove yourself incapable of doing the right thing, I am going to insist that you do this now. So you got you to gotta pressure. One more time. Since I'm able to get you to do this today, can I at least get a commitment and agreement from you that you will do this at, with me at some time in the future? Try that close. If not, let me know. Send some other sales objection. You like the spouse clothes. How about the budget clothes? Martin, that's expensive. I agree. That's outside, outside our budget. Yeah, I agree. And you probably knew that before you even got here being more expensive than you thought it would be. Let's get this done. Sign here, here, and here. Close the sea of sale. Make the money. You are in business, man. Let Biden, let, let Camilla Harris, when she's at the border, trying to make everyone feel good, feel good. Your job is to get paid. If you don't get paid, you don't get laid. If you don't get if you don't get paid and you're worried about money, someone else is going to lay. Your girlfriend and wife go get laid by someone else. Well, you crying. She's like, that's okay, honey. Lay down because I'm going to go lay down with the boy next door because at least he don't bitch. So don't be a little bitch, man. Make the sale. My name is Mark Morris. If you want $50, close your survival guide. Buy this book from me. Send me $1,000. P.O. Box 5 is a fragment my political campaign. Send me $1,000 to P.O. Box 540, San Bernardino, California, 92402. Let me make California great again. Future date close. Study that close. I'm selling the book for $50. P.O. Box 540, San Bernardino, California, 92402. Get this. This this will make you billions. Millions. This will help you. Get the closure survival guide. This is Saturday, you guys. Restaurant, cafes, restaurants, auto places, tire places. Go out there. Bakery, chocolate, Starbucks. Going for the upsells. Use these closes. Make money today. 
cash flow.